Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. Well, this week it's all about security on your Mac and Brian Trent from the UK asks, Having had Apples since an early Apple II, I've always been fairly relaxed about virus checkers. I would be interested on your views on the need for running virus checking programs on the Mac. Well, Brian, I too am fairly relaxed with the need for running virus checkers, and I still think we're not quite at the point where the overhead of running a virus checker is actually worth it. Now, that's not to say things might change in the future, but with the current state of OS X and the continuing efforts of Apple to keep making OS X as secure as possible, I don't think it's actually necessary to run antivirus apps on the Mac. However, the installation of malware or malicious apps is a potential real problem, and for that reason I would strongly recommend that you switch on Gatekeeper on your Mac to prevent unsigned apps from running. So let me start by opening System Preferences, and we'll use a Spotlight Search to do that. So SYS, in fact, the first entry gets me there. And then if we go to Security and Privacy, now, under the general tab, you'll see we have this uh, option down here. This is Gatekeeper. Now, Gatekeeper was introduced in OS X Lion and builds on OS X's existing malware checks to help protect your Mac from malware and other misbehaving apps downloaded from the internet. And there are basically three options. Let's just click this lock to make changes. We'll just authenticate. Right, so this will stop apps downloading unless they are from either uh, just the Mac App Store. Now, apps in the Mac App Store are carefully checked and screened, so you can rest assured that any app that you download from the Mac App Store should be safe and uh, you'll have zero problems. However, not everybody sells their apps through the App Store, um, but Apple does give developers um, an identifier which they can use. So this middle option here allows you to download and install apps both from the Mac App Store and from identified developers. And the good thing is with it being identified developers, if there is a problem with an app, Apple can actually withdraw the sort of permissions to run on your Mac and stop them from running. Or you have the option to just uh, allow apps to download and run from anywhere, but that's the uh, least secure option. I tend to always go with the middle one uh, so that uh, both apps from the Mac App Store and identified developers will run. Now, if there is an application that you download that isn't signed by an identified developer, yet you're confident of its source and it is trustworthy, you can override Gatekeeper and control and right click on the file and then just select open and that will actually open and run the file for you. But usually I will just leave this on the middle settings and you're protected. Now, if you do want to run a full-blown uh, antivirus application, uh, you can actually go ahead, uh, go across to the Screencasts Online site at screencastonline.com, do a quick search, and we've done a tutorial on an application called ClamXAV. So just search for ClamXAV. Uh, this is a fully-blown antivirus package. I can just click Watch Now and uh, have a look at that particular video. So hopefully you found that useful, and if you want to keep on top of using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now members receive a new full Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with articles and videos on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now you can get your 14-day free trial membership over at screencastonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV.